What's going on, Sunbelt fans? Time to get back into some basketball action. Thursday, February 16th, all games on ESPN Plus, as per usual at this point. 6.30 p.m. tip Eastern time. Texas State travels to Boone to play App State, who is a four and a half point favorite. Texas State just one and four in their last five with their only victory being over that struggling Arkansas State team. App State, two and three in their last five, but they haven't scored over six or 58 points in their last four games. I think they rebound a little bit just because they're at home. Neither team's great offensively, but both teams are pretty good defensively. So I see a low scoring affair on this one. App State 61, Texas State 59. 7 p.m. tip, ODU at James Madison, who is an eight and a half point favorite. I'm sorry, eight point favorite in that one. Big matchup for the Battle of Virginia. Both teams four and one in their last five. ODU's only loss in that time was to that James Madison team after a very slow start. After they had that slow start, I thought they, they really had the better of the play. They just could never really overcome that slow start they had. I think they do that on the road and they take back the win in this one. ODU 68, JMU 67. So maybe the game of the night there to keep an eye on. 7 p.m. tip as well. Georgia Southern travels to Marshall, who is a 12 and a half point favorite. Georgia Southern 2 and 3 in their last five. Meanwhile, Marshall 4 and 1 in their last five. Basically, what I'm looking at here, Eagles Savrasov, when he's been hot, which he was last week, two straight victories for the Eagles, uh, they've been winning games. And Throughout the season, when he's pretty much been their top scorer, and essentially when he's been their top scorer and top rebounder, they are winning those games. I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen, as the Eagles are just 3-9 and nine on the road. Meanwhile, Marshall 13-2 and two at home. So for that reason, I'm favoring Marshall in this one. 81, Georgia Southern 68. Another 7 p.m. tip. We've got Georgia State traveling to Coastal Carolina. This one considered even by the odds makers. Georgia State 1-4 and four in their last five. Not a great record. But a few of those games have been close. Definitely more competitive than Coastal Carolina, who has a seven-game losing streak and hasn't been very competitive within pretty much any of those games. So for that reason, I'm favoring Georgia State. Again, still in a close one, though, because I don't think these two teams are uh, totally unevenly matched. So Georgia State, 73. Coastal Carolina, 70. 8 p.m. tip, we've got Southern Miss, a one-point favorite traveling to South Alabama, who is 4-1 in their last five games. Their only loss coming to a re-emerging Troy team. Uh, to me, it's not a South Alabama team you really want to run into right now. They've been playing some of their best basketball of the year. Meanwhile, Southern Miss, nine-game win streak. Obviously, got that big win over Louisiana. It's a team that's rolling, so they could be primed for an upset here. But I'm still going to favor the Eagles in a close one here, but a really close one. USM 71, USA 69. 8 p.m. tip, ULM going to the Rage and Cajuns, where the Cajuns are a 13-point favorite. ULM just 1-4 in their last five. They're not shooting the three nearly as well as they did earlier in the season. That's probably why you're seeing that 13-point spread. But the Cajuns just 3-2 and two in their last five, and those two losses are straight. Two, two straight losses coming into this one. So I think this one could be a battle. As long as ULM is shooting, the Warhawks are shooting a little bit better from three. They have to shoot the three well to be competitive in this one. But I don't see it being a 13-point difference. I've got the Cajun 71, Warhawks 67. Nightcap, 8.30 p.m. tip. Troy, a six-point favorite, traveling to Jonesboro to play Arkansas State. Troy, three and two in their last five. All three of those wins came in a row. They're really hot right now. Uh, the last game was a 15-point beatdown of the Cajuns, who are no slouch themselves. So Arkansas State, who's only 1-4 coming in, the only opponent that they've beaten is, is, is that struggling Coastal Carolina team that we spoke of. I don't see this one being all that close. To me, you could flip-flop these last two odds and have this one be the 13-point game and move that six-point difference up a game. But I'm calling this one in favor of Troy pretty handily. 79, Arkansas State, 58. That'll wrap it up for tonight's games. Enjoy them. We'll see you later.